Hey guys, it's Sharon from Digital Nomad Quest. If you guys are new to this channel, welcome. I'm all about teaching y'all how to build passive income, become financially free, and design your best lives. So if you guys are interested, make sure to subscribe to this channel. So let's go ahead and get into today's topic. This is gonna be another episode of the Ask Sharon series, and I received this question. I noticed that you are very good at networking with some of these pretty established folks. Can you share what you did to get them to want to mentor you? All right, so first of all, I don't know about if they're like actually my mentors or anything. So I guess this person asked me this question because I've been able to get connected with folks like Pat Flynn, Gillian Perkins, Jessica Tork, Ryan Scribner, Johnny FD, Chris Daw, Riley Bennett, like a lot of people in the digital nomad and entrepreneurial space. But yeah, now I wanna talk about how I was able to get connected with some of these folks and my advice around that. I feel like being able to network and creating those awesome circles is very important to your success. So I thought about it and I have a few different tips towards building your network. So I'm gonna give you those tips right now. So number one, start taking action on your own stuff and make sure you are kind of building a brand yourself. So the reason why I say that is that people kind of notice you even more when you are creating that brand. So I've been creating this blog and this YouTube channel and this podcast for some time now, especially my blog has been around for like four years now. And people have seen that, people have seen I created a course, people have done a lot with my brand, right? So having your own stuff going on makes you feel more I think validated to be able to speak with more established folks. If you have never done anything, you haven't get, gotten started yet, it's a little bit harder to reach out to some of these people, but if you actually have studied their stuff, if you've actually taken action on your own stuff and people see it, they're more willing to help because you're not just a complete newbie asking general questions. It's better when you're actually creating something yourself and people can see that. I was at this Pat Flynn workshop the other day and one of the stories one of the students said, you know, she didn't have have a course up yet and then when she reached out to someone that was more established they kind of laughed her off at, as like oh you're you're cute kind of like that was kind of the vibe she was getting when she created that course and then reached out to that person again that person was like oh let's talk like let's get serious so it's kind of actually giving you more authority when you're creating your own stuff and then you're reaching out to these people right you want to make sure you have something going on and you want to make sure that when you get advice you keep um, actually taking action on those and increasing your brand you don't want to just depend on other people you also want to make sure you are somebody that people can turn to as well maybe not now but maybe in the future number two offer them value if you can so I remember when I met Pat Flynn I was trying to see how I could provide value so I took pictures of when he was talking and then I sent him those in email um, they were pretty crap pictures but I wanted to show that I was trying and I also talked about how yo like I went to Berkeley too hey <laughs> like whatever uh, he actually really resonated with that so he basically ended up giving me his number and saying like I could hit him up whenever he even followed me on my personal Instagram and we just connected and vibed right we, you don't want to be that person who's like always asking for something and you actually want to give value in return right you want to see how you can help and try to be mindful of people right so that's my advice you want to make sure you are giving value to them as well versus just asking for stuff number three i would say be supportive and like even buy their stuff especially if you can really benefit from it so i am now all about buying courses investing in myself if you really like these established folks and you like the work they're doing, you should support them. They are giving out content to you. They're teaching you guys stuff, right? So it's important to buy their stuff, support them, engage with them, you know, like be supportive of their achievements and their stuff. And I also like, I think when you pay for their courses and pay for their material, it makes it seem less like I'm just this needy person that always wants you to give me free advice. Like you wanna support these people, right? So that is important. A lot of these people that I look up to, I've bought their material. Some of these people that I know, like we, we talk on a friendly basis. It doesn't have to be like, Oh, I'm a, I'm a huge fan or anything. You shouldn't approach it that way. But if you really do like their stuff, it is cool to like purchase their stuff to show your support. Number four, I'd say go to conferences, go to meetups, go to where you think that you would see them, right? So like pay for those expensive conferences. The people who invest, again, I, it's kind of like point number three that you should buy their stuff. It's like when you pay for stuff, then people know you're serious. So the people who go to certain conferences like FinCon, FlynnCon, and whatever, right? Like if you're paying for that stuff, you're gonna meet other people who've paid for those things and they are more serious about their craft. It's It kind of 
it kind of weeds out the newbies too, right? So it's actually beneficial to go to paid conferences to meet some of these bigger people or even meet like-minded new people that you've never met before. And then those types of connections matter a lot, right? So yeah, it is important to make sure you go to the places where you would find the people you wanna meet, right? Like go to those places so that you can have the opportunity to talk with them. A lot of these people I've interviewed in my on my YouTube channel like are actually people I have met in person and I decided to interview them on the spot. But who knows, you can also reach out to them over email and stuff and see if you can like get some help or whatever. Uh, it's kind of like what Tim Ferriss says of don't be afraid to just email like some really extremely established person and see what happens. Tip number six though, you should also know your own worth, okay? You don't want to devalue yourself and like be this like fan when you're approaching people, okay? That's another thing. I, I think I learned this like a long time ago with music and stuff because I would get connected with like really big producers and DJs and I'd be super excited but like not treat that relationship in a way where like I knew my own worth and that's very important okay it's very important to know that you are actually uh, pretty up there like my brand is like decent right and it's notable and people have discovered me and asked me questions like all this stuff so like I know my own worth and it makes it healthier when you're approaching other people too because when you know your own worth they can see that as well okay you don't want to always Approach people as if you're just like this fan, this newbie, okay? You are actually someone that you can be like friends with them as well, okay? So uh, make sure you know your own worth. And lastly, just make sure you are likable, like be likable and don't be a leech, okay? I think that is very important advice because you wanna be mindful of people's time. Like even now, I'm getting more inquiries and I'm getting people who sometimes aren't mindful of my time and they think they can just keep asking me and I owe something to them. So you never wanna approach people like that, okay? They are doing you a favor by helping you out and you need to be mindful of that. And you also, yeah, you just don't wanna be a leech like constantly asking, asking, asking. You are taking stuff out of the relationship bank. That's what Ryan Dice called it at the Traffic and Conversion Summit. He called it like a relationship bank so that you might deposit or withdraw. Every time you are withdrawing, you are going negative, right? You don't wanna keep asking for more. You wanna also give them value. This kind of points to device number two where I talk about offering them value. You just don't wanna be on the other side where they're so annoyed with you that they don't even wanna to talk to you, right? You want to be that person that is likable, is mindful of people's time, is ready to help them out as well so they know that you're not just like a selfish person who you wanna also show appreciation to. So that's like kind of normal social skills in my opinion, but it's important to be mindful of. So I hope you guys enjoyed my top six tips around connecting with established folks and networking. And if you guys have anything to add, make sure to comment below and add your tips as well. And make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified of my latest videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.